China's Worst Nightmare, Godzilla FX Stealth Fighter from Japan Recently, Japan announced that it is developing a new stealth fighter known as the Godzilla FX. This fifth-generation fighter jet will be an upgrade to the country's current F-35 stealth fighter. However, the announcement of this new fighter generated a great deal of controversy in China, which sees Japan as a potential military threat in the region. Japan has built stealth fighter jets before, such as the X-2 Shinshin. But the Godzilla FX promises to be an even more advanced and capable plane. It will be equipped with state-of-the-art stealth technology, which means it will be very difficult for radar to detect it. In addition, the plane will be capable of carrying a wide variety of weapons, including air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, as well as smart bombs. For China, the creation of the Godzilla FX is seen as a direct threat to its national security. That's because China has claimed a large area of the South China Sea as its own, and has built artificial islands with military bases to protect that claim. However, this action has been contested by several countries in the region, including Japan, which has an interest in maintaining freedom of navigation in the South China Sea. The development of the Godzilla FX could also lead to an increase in tensions between Japan and China. The two countries already have a troubled history, dating back to World War II, when Japan occupied China. Since then, the two countries have had a tense relationship, with several conflicts and territorial disputes over the years. However, Japan has maintained that the Godzilla FX is not a direct threat to China. Instead, the plane is seen as a way to improve the country's defense capabilities and strengthen its alliance with the United States. The U.S. has supported Japan in creating the Godzilla FX, and it also has its own stealth fighter, the F-22 Raptor. The Godzilla FX is an ambitious and expensive project for Japan. It is estimated that the cost of the program could reach over $40 billion. Furthermore, the plane is not expected to be ready for operations until the late 2030s. However, Japan sees this as a necessary investment in its national security and believes that the Godzilla FX will be able to meet future threats. Did you like this article? So subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We are a new channel and we need your support to grow. If you liked this article and want to see more quality content, help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. We appreciate your support and hope to see you soon in Arcane. Explores the impact that the development of the new fifth-generation Japanese fighter aircraft could have on the geopolitics of East Asia and the Pacific. The Godzilla FX stealth fighter is a stealth fighter that aims to replace Japan's current F-2s. It was developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in partnership with Lockheed Martin, an American company specializing in aerospace technology. The plane is equipped with state-of-the-art stealth technology, making it almost undetectable by enemy radars. Additionally, it has the ability to carry multiple weapons, including air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, making it a significant upgrade to Japan's current F-35 stealth fighter. The development of the Godzilla FX worries China, which already has territorial conflicts with Japan, especially regarding the senkaku slash Diaoyu Islands, which both countries claim as their own. China has been investing heavily in its own military modernization program, including the development of new stealth fighter jets such as the J-20. The video explores how the creation of the Godzilla FX could affect relations between Japan and China and how it could change the balance of power in East Asia and the Pacific. Some experts believe that the creation of the Japanese plane could lead to a new arms race in the region and increase tension between countries. Overall, which highlights the geopolitical implications of the development of the Godzilla FX stealth fighter and how it could affect relations between countries in the region. The objective is to inform readers about a subject of great relevance and global interest, while offering an in-depth analysis of the topic.